Right, so welcome back to a new one and in this one I will show you how the expander and the gate works. Now if you already know the difference and how it works, I'm not going to teach you anything new. Controls are pretty basic, so this video is for the guys that are maybe starting and don't know the difference between compression and expansion and gating. Okay, so let's start with the expander. Everything is off and if I play the track, we have some hats. And I have something special right here. I'm going to bring the wave observer. So this is a plugin that of course is going to show you the wave, the waveform. So right here we can see the waveform of the hats and we know that it's pretty dynamic. We have some accents and then all the in-betweens. Okay, so what I want to do, and for now I'm going to close the expander. What I want to do, I want to compress. I want to make the sound less dynamic. So I want to reduce the peaks and get them closer to whatever it is that we have on the in-betweens. So we just making it making less dynamic. So I'm gonna bring a compressor. I want to make it less dynamic. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm crushing it. I'm going really hard at this at the compressor. And we can see that now the waveform and the one at the top is the processed one, the compressed one, and the one at the bottom is the dry signal, the uncompressed. So I'm not doing we are not doing anything to the bottom. But the one at the top it's a lot less dynamic than the one at the bottom. That's why we use a compressor. When we compress, we make it less dynamic. So let's just pretend for a second that the file that we get to work with is going to be the one at the top and not the one at the bottom, that it's, you know, pretty dynamic. We have a less dynamic sound. And what we want to do is we want to get something closer to what we have at the bottom. We want to make it more dynamic. So for that, we use a, an expander, not a compressor, because the compressor will make it less dynamic. So the expander is going to be the complete opposite. It's going to make it more dynamic. And you know, the keyboard expander makes sense. Uh, the expander will expand dynamic range. A compressor will compress dynamic range. And if I play the track now, remember that the one at the top is the one that we are processing with the expander and the compressor. It's just, you know, sounds like this. So we need to adjust whatever it is that we have right here. And this works the opposite way of the compressor, but, you know, some of the controls are pretty much the same. So first, I'm going to need to bring the threshold. So I'm going to need to adjust it. And at some point, it's going to start working. You need to find the sweet spot. And notice that it sounds different now. We can hear the accents and then we have the in-betweens, they're softer. So now we have a more dynamic type of waveform. Not like the one we have at the, bo at the bottom, but you know, it's just, we are getting a little bit of more dynamics back. If I turn it off, it's not dynamic. It's a super compressed because that's what we got. So this is a way that we get to get to get a sound, make it, uh, make it more dynamic. Now the range is gonna be how, how aggressive you go down because you're pretty much going down. You're gonna let you're letting the loud parts pass without compressing, without doing anything, and then you turn down everything else, you know, all the in-betweens. So the range is gonna be how much do you do. If I go less, it's gonna be less. But if I go really aggressive, it's gonna be pretty aggressive clamping down those parts. That's the main point. And right here you have the representation of how it goes. If I go all the way down, it's going to be a lot more aggressive, less aggressive. And every time that you move something, you might need to adjust the threshold. So you can, you can again find the sweet spot. Also, you have the, and for now I'm going to go to maybe range and leave it maybe there. It's not super close, but you know, it's a lot closer to what we had from before. This is off. This is on, so a lot more dynamic. That's the point. I'm gonna go all the way down on the attack and on the release. If I play it now, notice it's super choppy and it makes sense. Remember, this is gonna open and close. So it's opening and closing, closing super fast. So maybe again, I want, I want it to be a little bit more smoother. So then I'm gonna go to the release and add a little bit of release time. If I go on the attack, it's gonna be like an envelope on a, an envelope on a synthesizer, and since this is a percussive type of material, maybe fast attack is the best, is, you know, the best choice. And there we go. We took something that was 
not very dynamic and made it more dynamic. All right, so let me just fine tune all of this. Maybe you can copy the values if you want. But again, if you don't have the same sound source I'm using, you know, what's the point? It all depends on whatever it is that, you, is that you're trying to process. Now, notice that we have a ratio right here. It says ratio, just like, you know, a compressor. So an, an expander, it's like a gate. It will open and close in some fashion. An expander has a variable ratio. So it is smooth. A gate, it's completely different. And we'll see it in a minute. On this one, since it, this is an expander, we can make it more smooth. That's the whole point. So if I go up in ratio, it's going to be super hard. But if I wanted to make it more smooth, I can go down in ratio. And now it's not super aggressive. And again, that's the whole point of using an expander. And the main difference that we get with a gate. The gate, aggressive. The expander can be smooth. All right. So this is what you do when you want to use an expander. You adjust your threshold, how much you want uh, to re uh, go down in range. And then if you have a ratio, because in some expanders you don't have a ratio, you just, you know, fine tune the ratio. And then of course, set the attack and the release. If you have a release or you have an attack. Some vintage expanders don't have these controls. You just get maybe a threshold and range and that's it. Now on this uh, expander you have a sidechain, if you enable the filter, I'm going to be playing it back, you can cut the lows of whatever input signal or, you know, cut the highs and you can even swap to do the opposite. And the main point of all of this is that you're cutting before going into the expander, so the expander will react a little bit different. It all depends on the source that you're trying to expand. And then if you go to listen, you know what, I'm going to be going really, I'm going to go really aggressive. So we get nothing. So if I listen, you can listen whatever it is that you're chopping. In this case, it's way too much. So the expander is not reacting well. But, you know, we can narrow some of the frequencies. So we can just process it a little bit better. That's the whole point. So this is how an expander uh, works. And okay, so I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to go back. So remember, whenever you want to take something... Uh, that it's dynamic, like the one at the bottom, make it less dynamic and glue it together, then you go to a compressor. When you want to do the opposite, take something and make it more dynamic, you go to an expander. In this case, it's just super hard, but you know, that's, uh, that's what we are trying to do right here. So then you have the other option, which is going to be the gate. And this is what we would use if you wanted to be very aggressive and try to remove something or maybe a noise or maybe some un unwanted parts of the waveform. That's why we have a gate. Now notice that the gate has a very hard line right here. It's not like, like the expander. Also, this one, if you take a look, it has no ratio control. There's no control over the ratio. And it's because the gate will open and close very hard. It doesn't care about the ratio. It opens hard and open and closes hard. And it's the same idea as the expander. We just need to find the sweet spot. And in this case, there is no sweet spot. So I'm gonna need to move it and at some point it will start doing it it's detecting the peaks and we get the peak it's going to open and then it's going to close and now notice how different it is from the expander we don't have the in-betweens we just get the accents mostly i'm gonna go a little bit harder this and we get it now remember that again you still have the attack and the release just like the expander if i make it super hard that is how choppy it is. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of release. Now it's again much more aggressive. And just like the expander, you have a range, which is how much you want to clamp down. A lot less aggressive. And we can go up in range just to pretty much remove whatever it is that we are trying to you know, remove. And as, again, as you can notice, this is pretty much the same controls. The only difference is that we don't have a ratio. And the other thing is that you have a hold. So every time that, of course, the gate opens and closes, and this, this uh, line, it will tell you when it's opening and when it's closing, and how it's closing. So if I do a long release, it's going to be super slow. 
If I do a fast release, it's open and close. Same thing with the attack. So, like I said before, you have a hold. Since this is open, opening, you can hold it for a certain amount of time. And it's not, you know, maybe it's one second, it's not a lot. So when it's opening, you can say, okay, hold it, just keep it open for this specific amount of time and then just close it. Right, so that's why we, you have the hold. And most, you know, most gates have this control. So you can fine tune it just a little bit better. And that's it. You know, this is why, why we would use uh, a gate. You're just, you know, almost just getting the accents pretty much. Let me just again, maybe fine tune it. I'm gonna go less range. Maybe go here to the threshold. I'm gonna do a little bit more. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna go down and hold. And attack. I'm gonna do a little bit. A little bit of release. And notice that we are getting accents mostly. And everything else gets removed. That's the whole point. Now, like I said before, an expander is smooth and a gate is hard. Uh, which one should you use? Well, depends on what you want to do. Um, right now, I'm talking to a microphone and you cannot hear it. There is background noise. So my voice is going through an expander. Actually, it's going through a hardware expander with a compressor and everything else. But, you know, it goes through an expander to duck down the noise smoothly. If I use a gate, it will chop the tail of my voice super hard and it will, you know, open the gate super hard as well when I start talking. So it's gonna sound a little bit weird. My voice is gonna be a little bit choppy. So an expander is the best choice for this because this is smooth. It will open smooth and it will close smooth. If you have some noisy uh, type of snares, for example, and I want to remove the parts I don't want, well, maybe the gate is just the best, the best choice. You can use an expander if you wish, if you want a smoother response. But if you want to do something, you want to do something very aggressive, maybe a gate. It's you know the best choice. So if you liked all of this and you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.